Good morning, this is Barry the Maple Guy from Eagle, Idaho. Um, today we are going to be talking about growth below your graft. Yes, you heard that Japanese maples are grafted onto a green rootstock, which is an Acer palmatum green leaf maple. And I'm gonna ask you to do a zoom in right here. So we went through the nursery and um, it's a lot harder to see on trees that have green leaves versus red leaves. So this one right here is the actual growth from below the graft. This is the Acer Palmatum green leaf maple. This graft uh, seedling here is what we use. Will grow about 30 or 40 feet tall. So this maple is called Hana Fabuki. It's a really beautiful maple. It only grows about eight feet tall and has this beautiful variegated leaf. Okay, and you'll notice that the leaf is very different. So on the back side, you'll see that it's uh, a bit bigger, and you'll see a lot of white variegating veins going through the leaf. As you'll notice down here, this is the graft right here, and you're gonna see a totally different leaf. And this confuses a lot of people because they're not sure about maples that are grafted. So what we do is when we go through the nursery, I'm constantly looking for this when we are pruning, and my wife and I, Sue, one of the top arborists in the industry that prune Japanese maples. And if you do have any questions or want us to come out and take care of your and service your maple, you can call us at 208 408 0025, or you can uh, email me at maplesforallseasons at yahoo.com and uh, you can ask us questions. So, what we want to do here is real simple. If I'm going to use a any kind of pruning tool, whether it's a Japanese scissor that we use or a concave pruning tool, we always spray our tools with Lysol. But today I'm going to use my fingers. Don't need to spray them, easy to deal with, no Lysol on them. And we just go to where the graft is, and right below it is sitting there is the new growth. And it just happened over the last two weeks. We just take our fingers and we go in and we just break it right off, really nice and clean. Okay. So that right there is your green leaf seedling. And as you'll notice, the graph right here, I'll have to spin the tree around right in here, is right here. Okay, you'll see it. What confuses people is that it's green and green. So that really makes it difficult for people to notice. Because we've been doing this for over 20 years, we understand what is the graft. And what, which is right here is the graft. And then this is actually what we used to graft onto. Okay, so we put them together. This is a V-channel cut. And we put it in there. So we don't want to see any growth. So we do not want to see this growth coming from down here. What that growth will do is this will grow two to four feet a year straight up. And what will happen is, is it'll eventually overtake this tree. Um, we run into a lot of clients that think it's kind of neat to have a tree. And I was guilty of that uh, about 25 years ago. We thought it was kind of cool. You have one tree growing here and this other tree growing here, one being smaller, one being taller. And um, we discovered that is wrong. So for the last 24 years, we've been always either cutting it off or taking our finger and pulling it off. Okay, so that's your quick tip of the day, removing growth from below the graft. Once again, this is Barry the Maple Guy. If you need to get a hold of us, it's... 208-408-0025 or maples for all seasons at yahoo.com you can ask your questions and also send me photos and then if you need us to do any quoting on uh, some printing so have a wonderful holiday and safe one and we'll see you within a few days thank you